Hi, welcome to the power of model drawing and today we are going to look at the comparison model. Now, the lesson objectives that we are going to cover today, we are going to revise the elements used in model drawing and we are going to learn to make short and long units to solve work problems. Alright, let's look at guided example 1 and uh, we are now going to look at how to find the total. Now, whenever you read a problem, you always need to highlight the keywords, right? highlight the important numbers, right? so that as you are reading, you are also thinking about the best method that you can use to solve the problem. So let's read the question. John has 598 stamps. Ron has 897 more stamps than John. How many stamps do they have all together? Now, I see the word more than. So when I see the word more than, uh, immediately I know that I can draw a comparison model. So how does the comparison model looks like? Now, you have two person. So John, and by the way, when you draw the model, you start from the beginning. You draw out the, the, the first sentence and then followed by the second sentence and so on. So let's look at the first sentence and John has 598 stamps. So we draw a rectangle to represent his stamps and you need to label and uh, label the, the name. So John has 598 stamps. Then read the next sentence. Ron has 897 more then John. So Ron will have a longer rectangle. And where do you put the more than? Well, you can have arrow sign, and that arrow sign shows how many more, and that will be 897 more than John. And then keep reading. How many stamps do they have all together? So you are finding the total. So where do you indicate the total? You indicate the total at the side. Alright, so this is your total, which is the question mark that you're asked to find. Now, if your model has all the essentials, the labelings, you have the numbers inside the model, you have the arrow sign, you have the question mark, and it is a well done, right? The model is well done. Then there's no need to actually look at the problem. You can look at the model or you study the model and you find out how to work out the question mark. All right, so if you look at the model, what do you do first? You can find Ron's stamp first. So Ron has how many? You take 598, Right, which is John's rectangle, plus how many more? Plus 897 more. And that will give you Ron's. Alright, so let's work out. 598 plus 897, and you will get 1,495 stamps. And of course, we are not going to do the working because we are going to spend more time on the model drawing. So just remember that if you are doing your school homework or you are doing exam problems, then you need to show the working. You need to draw the working line. Alright, so whatever answers you have found, you continue to build your model. You add on to the model. So Ron has 1,495, right? So now can I find the total? Yes, you take Ron plus John. So 1,495 plus 598, that will give you altogether how many stamps? And you will get 2,000 and 93 stamps altogether. So whatever answers you have found again, add on to your model. These are good drawing habits, right? Because in other models, uh, you find that you have more steps and every number that you have found, you build on your model and your model will become clearer and clearer. All right, so indicate your answer, ANS, at the bottom right hand corner, 2093 stamps. So we have solved the first problem using comparison model, all right? Let's look at another example and let's read the question again. And this time we are going to learn how to make short units. Uh, so what are short units? All right, let's read the question. Now there are a total of 246 teachers in a school. There are 78 more male teachers than female teachers. So how many female teachers are there? All right, again, I see more than. So I will think of comparison model. So how do I do that? Now, Again, you always draw from the beginning. So you look at the first sentence. There are a total of 246 teachers in a school. All right, now if this sentence doesn't give you much information to draw, don't worry, read the next sentence. All right, sometimes the first sentence may not give you enough information to draw. So you just read on. There are 78 more male teachers than female teachers. So am I able to draw out this sentence? Yes. The male teachers have a longer rectangle and the female teachers have a shorter rectangle. And where do you put the 78 more? And that will be outside here. Okay, that is your 78 more, which is also called the difference, right? The difference between the male and the female. What's the difference? 78, 
All right. Okay. Now, then can you go back to your first sentence and what do you see? You see the total number of teachers. So where do you put your total at the side? And now you can put 246 teachers onto your model. Okay, keep reading. How many female teachers are there? So your question mark will be inside the female's rectangle. All right, so the model is done already. You have the labelings, you have the arrow sign, you have the numbers, you also have the question mark. So if the model is fantastic, you don't actually have to read the problem. All right, study the model and how do you find the question mark? Now, model drawing is about finding units. And what are units? Units are equal parts. If you look at the model now, they don't look equal. So how do you make them look equal? You can cut the longer parts, right? cut the male's rectangle, cut the longer part here, and now you can see that you actually have two equal units. See, these are your two equal rectangles. And when you cut the longer part, you are creating, right? you are making short units. So you have one short unit, and then you have another short unit. So when do you make short units? When you cut away the longer part, you will have short units. All right, so when you cut away the shader part or the longer part, what happened to your model? Your model will have two units left. And what is the total now? The total will now become smaller. So it won't be 246 anymore because you have cut away the longer part. So you have to minus and minus 78. Why? Because the shader part is 78 more. So you cut it away. It means that you remove it. So now the model becomes smaller and the total will also become smaller. All right, so what is your two unit? So 246 minus 78 and it will get 168. Now, model drawing is about making units. So once you find how many units is equal to how many, then you find what is one unit. So 168 divided by two and you will get 84. So your one unit is equal to 84. And once you can find your one unit, you can solve the problem. So how many females are there? There are one unit of females. So your answer will be 84. So there are 84 females, which is over here. All right, so you can see that, uh, when do you make short units? Now you make short units when you want to find the shorter rectangle. The females have a shorter rectangle, so I want to make short units, right? Okay, now, so let's go on to another example, and at this time, we are going to look at how are we going to make longer units. All right, so let's look at the example again. There are a total of 560 children at the playground. There are 80 fewer boys than girls. So how many girls are there? Okay, so again, you see the word fewer than. So in my mind, I will think of comparison model. All right, so how do we draw out the model? You start from the beginning again, right? You draw out the first sentence. And if you look at the first sentence, there are a total of 560 children at the playground. Uh, so it doesn't give you more, much information to draw the comparison model. So if you are not sure how to draw, just by looking at the first sentence, then what do you do? Go on to the next sentence and see whether can you draw out the next sentence. There are 80 fewer boys than girls. So which means that the rectangle for the boys is shorter and the rectangle for the girls is longer. So you have 80 fewer boys. So this is the difference, right? The difference is 80. Now go back to the previous sentence, go back to the first sentence and now can you add on to the model? So there is a total, and the total is at the side. So where do you indicate the total? At the side of the model, which is here. And this is where the total is, and that is 560. All right, keep reading, because you haven't completed your model yet. There's no question mark. So how many girls are there? So the question mark is over here. Now, you can see that I am not solving the problem. I'm not thinking about how to solve the problem. Neither am I thinking about what is step number one, what is step number two, but what I've done is to actually draw out the problem. And when you draw out the problem, the model becomes clearer and clearer. And then once you have finished your drawing, you can actually study the model and you can see for yourself how to find the question mark. So how do we do that? Now, I want to find the girls which has a longer rectangle. So I need to make longer units, right? Because the girl's rectangle is longer. So I make the boys longer, right? 
So what happened when you make the boys rectangle longer? Now you have two long units. So the girls have one long unit, and of course the boys will also have one long unit, which is here. Okay, one long unit. So you are making two long units. Okay, what happened when you make two long units? Now the total will become bigger because you have made the model to look bigger. So the total will become bigger. So your total is 560, and how much bigger has you? Uh, has it increased by? Now you look at the boys rectangle. It has increased by 80. You make it longer by 80. So your total will become bigger by 80. And you will get 640. So every time you draw a model, when you make units, you have something called unit statements, which is what I've done. I'm writing out the unit statements. And then the next step is easy. You just have to find what is one unit. So 640, you divide by 2, and you will get 320, which is one unit. All right, so look at the question mark. So how many girls are there? Isn't that one unit? And you have solved the problem. So there are 320 girls. See, the girls have one unit. So that's why your answer is 320. So you can see that when do I make short units? I make short units when I need to find the shorter rectangle. How long, how many is the shorter rectangle? When do I make longer units? Uh, when I want to find how many is the longer rectangle. Like in this question, the girls have a longer rectangle and I need to know how many girls. So what do I do? I make longer, I make longer units. All right, so you have something called making short units or making long units. All right, now let's go on to another example. All right, and uh, now you tell me whether what kind of units do I make? Do I make long or do I make short units? Now, let's read the question and let's highlight. Mark and Lin have a total of 89 stickers. Lin has 21 more stickers than Mark. So how many stickers has Lin? Okay, so again, you see more than. So I draw out the comparison model. So I have Mark and Lin. I look at the first sentence and I label these two person. And uh, they have a total of 89 stickers. All right, so I can actually start by putting the error sign and the total is 89. And go to the next sentence, Lin has 21 more. So it means that Lin has a longer rectangle and Mark must have a shorter rectangle. And uh, where is your 21 more, which is outside the rectangles? So this is your difference. So 21 more is also called the difference. All right, now if you look at the model, all right, and by the way, it's not completed yet because you didn't put a question mark. So how many stickers, right, how many stickers has Lin? which is the question mark that you're asked to find. So you look at this model, all right? And by the way, you have completed your drawing already, all right? So you are basically, what are you doing? You are drawing out the sentences. You are not even thinking about how to solve. So once the model has been drawn, then you look at the model and you think about how do I get the question mark? Do I make long units or do I make short units? Well, you're finding leans, which has a longer rectangle. So I have to make longer units. So I just make Mark's rectangle to be longer, okay, to be longer. All right, so now you can see that I have one long unit, which is Lin's, and I have another long unit, which is Mark. So I have two long units. All right, so how many is two long units? Now, when you make something longer, or when you make the model look bigger, your total will become, of course, bigger. So 89 becomes bigger, by 21, right? Because you make Mark's rectangle longer, so the total will, of course, become greater. So 89 plus 21, and you will get 110. So now you can find one unit again. Your model drawing is all about making units, right? And also to find one unit. So 110 divided by two, and your one unit is 55. So now you can see how many stickers has lean. Lin has one unit, which is 55 stickers, right? And you have solved the problem easily. So you can see the questions are quite easy at this moment, right? At P3, the model drawing is quite simple to draw, but these are the basics, right? These are the essentials. These are the foundation of model drawing. Like how do you draw a puzzle model? How do you draw a comparison model? Uh, these two types of model are the foundation of model drawing because all of these two types of model, you will begin to expand, right? Expand your drawing to other, other more advanced model drawing. 
All right, so uh, you can so we have come to the end of our model drawing lessons. Uh, in the next coming lesson, we are going to continue drawing comparison model. Uh, but the questions will get a little bit harder. But not to worry, because no matter how difficult the question is, we are just going to focus on drawing out the problem. Because when you focus on drawing out the sentences, it's like what I said, the pieces, the jigsaw pieces, uh, you just put them together, right? And then the, the picture will look very clear. And then you will know how to solve it later on. So don't worry about uh, how difficult the problem is. Your job, okay, your job is to focus on drawing out the sentences one by one. And the more you keep drawing, uh, the more confident you will get and the easier and the faster you will get your answer. All right, so I'll see you in the next lesson. And uh, so meanwhile, have a pleasant week and continue to practice on your max.